Republican senators. We're going to be discussing the urgent need to repeal and replace the disaster known as Obamacare. It was just announced yesterday that 2 million people have dropped out of Obamacare, 2 million additional. They are leaving fast. Premiums have increased by an average of more than 100 percent nationwide. In North Carolina, premiums have gone up 176 percent. In Arkansas, premiums have gone up 128 percent. In Pennsylvania, premiums have gone up by 120 percent. And I hate to say this to you, Lisa, but in Alaska, they've gone up 207 percent on Obamacare. You know, I used to mention only Arizona, because they were up 116 percent in Arizona. Now Arizona is like uh, good by comparison to some of the numbers, but they're way up in Arizona also. Insurers are fleeing the market. Last week, it was announced that one of the largest insurers is pulling out of Ohio, great state of Ohio. That could mean another 20 counties. At least 19,000 people in Ohio will have no plan at all. Nationwide, one in three U.S. counties have only a single insurer, and many of those insurers, as you know, have announced that they're leaving. Obamacare has been broken, and it's been a broken promise. One after another, Americans were told that if you liked your doctor, you'll keep your doctor. That was a lie. They were told that if you liked your plan, you'd keep your plan. That was a lie. Americans were told the premiums would go down by $2,500 per year. And instead, their premiums went up to levels that nobody thought even possible. The House has passed a bill, and now the Senate is working very, very hard, and specifically the folks in this room, and I really appreciate what you're doing, to come out with a bill that's going to be a phenomenal bill for the people of our country. Generous, kind, with heart. That's what I'm saying. And that may be adding additional money into it. I'm going to come out with a real bill, not Obamacare. And the results are going to be fantastic, and hopefully it'll be announced at the appropriate time, and everyone's going to be happy. But by contrast, Republicans in Congress, uh, as hard as they're working, you have the Democrats on the other side, who truly have become obstructionists. Even their, even their uh, new motto, resist. And I guess it's a pretty accurate motto. Every time I see it, I say, that's right. That does represent the Democrats. It's called resist. And it's very unfortunate. And I actually said, if we came up with the greatest health care plan or tax cut, because we're coming out with a massive tax cut and tax reform, but if we came up with the greatest health care or tax cut ever in our country's history, we wouldn't get one Democrat vote. It's obstruction. 